Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Atrium of City Hall. We are excited this morning to officially uh, launch and announce the new Harrisburg Downtown Circulator, a, uh, a new bus route planned by CAT, which is going to make it much easier to get around town. Instead of uh, having uh, to, to, to sort of make inconvenient transfers or wait for long periods of time, it's now going to be possible for someone like myself or another downtown worker to hop on a bus and go to the Broad Street Market for lunch. I think that's just terrific. We're increasing uh, connectivity not just between the downtown and the Broad Street Market, but also between PennDOT, another area, and we are, we are making the circulator a regular part of, uh, of daily life and daily travel of the city during the week here. It is yet another example of how CAT is working with the city to make bus travel more accessible and more useful to uh, all of its riders here in Harrisburg, and we appreciate their efforts. Uh, you've already heard about efforts uh, to expand uh, ridership to serve the Amazon.com and other uh, other factories and warehouses in uh, Cumberland County. Well, this is a plan now to make it easier to literally get from point A to point B within the downtown and midtown areas of the city. So we've got more to say on this, and then we're going to ride the bus together and show you how easy it is to do. But I want to first introduce Eric Bugale. He is the chairman of the board of directors of CAT. And Eric would like to say a few words. Thanks, Mayor. Good morning. I want to thank the mayor for being here, and, and uh, uh, on behalf of the board of uh, Capital Area Transit, I'd like to thank uh, uh, everyone attending today, and uh, we want to show off this uh, brand new route that uh, we think is uh, going to serve the uh, community very well, as well as all of the uh, state workers that will be able to uh, be able to have their take a lunch break and be able to uh, go up to the Broad Street Market, go to PennDOT to take care of any kind of uh, uh, licensing work that they have to get done, uh, connect Shipoke and connect a lot of our uh, other uh, capital uh, complex buildings that uh, the state workers need to get uh, to and from. The 30 minute window is going to be excellent and uh, be able to uh, be able to get people to uh, go between those buildings and be able to get, uh, we even tie in the hospital, tie in a lot of the uh, uh, other public buildings in the, uh, in the city. And I think um, it was a wise move on behalf of uh, CAT to do this. Uh, Capital Area Transit, as you know, serves uh, Dauphin County, Cumberland County, and the city. And uh, this is just another example of uh, the route planning that our, uh, our staff has been able to put together, and uh, we uh, hope you uh, will come along for the ride. Thanks. Oh, nope. and now, yes. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. I am Bill Jones. I am the general manager at Capital Area Transit, CAT for short, and I'd like to thank you again. Thank you all for being here. What brings me the greatest amount of satisfaction about this? You know, as public officials, as many, many times we want to think we know what people need. Well, this whole concept idea was birthed through public outreach. It was the people telling us what they want. A, 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 one of the early pieces of it, and I want to thank the mayor and commend the mayor and the city and the city council for their comprehensive plan. You know, part of that was in there. They were reaching out and the people were saying, we took that, went out, and my staff went out into the public. We did uh, 17 public listening se sessions over a course of several weeks, went out and they, they took this uh, concept out and they started molding it and it evolved into this, this piece of work now that we'll have that will connect mo much of the city together you know it, there's old versions of this but this is a great driver it's a great economic driver you need to be able to connect communities you have all the businesses up and down third street you have the capital complex you have this the, the market you have pendots riverfront office complex you have all the major parking garages and it, it's a shame that when you come in here that if you need to travel within that that you're getting your car out of a parking garage and going and as i was talking to the the staff from tri-county regional planning they were saying it'd be nice to go up the market but go up to the market but it was just a little bit out of their reach now we have connections between this service and other cat services you'll that'll be a very very convenient trip 
but I am excited. This, again, as public officials, we are to sit and listen to our public, whether that be the counties, the city, are we not here for the people? And the exact, this is exactly what it is. The, the city's comprehensive plan, my planning staff, uh, the board, we're out trying to listen to the public and they're telling us and this is the result and I think we got a lot of work to do. I, you know, I'm really excited moving forward. I think this is just a small step in the right direction towards ec economic development in the city and in the region. I look, you know, how can we better connect the Hill District? Uh, how can we better connect the Hack area, some of the uptown sections, and then reaching out even farther into, out into the counties? Again, one small step, but this is a great, it, this was conceived from the people, these ideas, and we're putting it into fruition. We'll get started, and now we just gotta get the word out and get people to try it. Thank you very much. Great, and I will just uh, close by uh, thanking uh, the Tri-County Planning and our partners uh, here with CAT, uh, Cumberland County, Dauphin County, as well as the city's uh, planning department, which worked uh, very closely with CAT in, in forming the comprehensive plan. And uh, just in general, so it's clear uh, to your viewers, I think what's important to think about the circulator is, instead of the old system where you, you, know, you sort of had to make sure you got on the right route and you'd just go in one direction and it would be sort of emanating out of the center of the downtown, this is now circling the downtown, literally allowing you to change between other, uh, other spokes of the, of the wheel, so to speak, as well as to make those local connections a lot easy, more easily. Here we go. All right, after you, sir. After Hello, you, ma'am, that's fine. I, yes, I, absolutely. I'm old okay, school. no, very I, good, very I was good. <laughs> First thing uh, I notice, well, let, let's start with the air conditioning. Very nice and cool, right? Yes. This could be the coolest part in, in Harrisburg. We're, we're, <laughs> we're 10 degrees uh, uh, cooler than City Hall, which is good. And you're right, it's not the, the hard, plastic seat with the gum on the bottom of days of old. It is, uh, it's cushioned. Yeah, it's, nice. Uh, it's nice. Have all the buses in the fleet been upgraded to this level? Yeah, everything we have. We've been going, we've actually been using this from back in the 90s. Yeah. And, you know, on a regular basis when they, you know, they're brought in for maintenance. Let's try out the Wi-Fi, shall we? All right, here we go. I'm going to settings. We also have a Find Your Cat bus uh, that you can find now. Uh, on the internet. Yeah, the, the, but the uh, Find My Cat bus is a neat app too. Yeah, it, it understands traffic as well. Yes, as, uh, it, it adapts. It actually learns. It looks at traffic conditions and, and it'll adjust accordingly. So if people want to take the circular to lunch, like we're, we're doing now, uh, they should use the, the Find, Find My, my Cat bus. Find my you'll cat be bus able to app. watch to see where the buses are. Yeah. And it's every half hour, right? Yes. Correct. So uh, right now it's internet based, so you have, to, you have to go onto the internet to get it. But we're working on an app that oh, okay. will be an app, just a cat app, uh -huh. which will have our yeah. schedules on it. We'll have other stuff. To give it a okay. Wow. For that to be a beautiful day. Are so we uh, we going in? Yeah. Let's go in. In. Let's go. Let's Let go. Let me just say <laughs> that we are here with uh, with Cat Capital Area Transit because they are introducing a new lunchtime bus circular which is going to take people from the downtown and from PennDOT all the way to the market. That, oh, there's a new circular that's going to take people from lunch to the market. Oh, downtown, they had a sponsor. Awesome. So we rode the bus and we tried it out today. And uh, I, I've been raving about fresh pasta ever since we did the new, we did a giant noodle cutting. Not a ribbon cutting, <laughs> a noodle cutting. And I am now of the opinion that I can never go back to store-bought no, pasta. Yeah, it's it, true. It, 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 it was so good that I couldn't believe how much better it was. Honestly, yeah, yeah, no, no kidding. So, so uh, how's business been? And it's only been a little while now. Great, so, yeah. great. Cannot be overstated how well we're doing here. We love being here, and it's fun. What do you think a new bus route going from the downtown here to the market could mean for uh, for lunchtime? Uh, it could mean that we're feeding a whole lot more people some really great food. That'd be great. One of the things that Kat's thinking about is uh, maybe we could do a coupon book that they could circulate on the bus to oh, encourage people, great. state workers, to come here for lunch. So maybe maybe we could do a free pasta incentive or something, uh, you know, to get those state workers here. Because listen, if you want free pasta, yeah. you just ask. Okay, me. I was angling for free pasta. <laughs> That's exactly right. I know. It's